Okay, so today I was supposed to do a video on my hair dryer, which was gonna be a great, beautiful video, and I was just gonna dry my hair. So but I dyed my hair red um, last week, just the underneath right here. Now, when I showered, I guess I hadn't rinsed off all of that because when I dried my hair, the outside of this side has turned bright pink. And I'm very irritated about that um, <laughs> because I really like the color and now it's really pissing me off. But anyways, um, I'm going to crush some vitamin C tablets and try to get that out. But I'm going to go ahead and continue. I did dry some of this over here because I was pissed off when I got out of the shower and I needed to see what happened. Um, but anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to put some more oil in my hair, but I'm going to do this side um, because I wanted to show you how I'm doing my hair so when I dry it. Um, now this is like obviously an unstyled, like nasty dry hair. So what I've been using, don't mind the hair, sorry, is the um, Hot Tools charcoal, is it once that blow out? Something like that. Um, I'll look it up and put it down. Oh, okay. Hot Tools Professional. Yeah, it doesn't say what it's called. But anyways, so what I do is I just kind of go in and do this with each side um, until it gets to where I want it to be. I might curl it in this time, we'll see. I was just going with this one. I'm going to do the vitamin C after this. Um, it's really just for this piece because I don't mind the rest of it. But okay. Anyways, here we go. Okay, so I'm not going to go completely and do the whole thing, um, but I've never tried to do curled in. I kind of like it. Um, didn't do the underneath very well, but I'm kind of in a little bit of a stress mood right now thanks to this beautiful disaster back here. But, like, I wouldn't mind it if the side looked the same, but it doesn't. So, like, from the back right now, it's, like, red pink, whatever, fuchsia, and then <laughs> blonde, so, <sighs> anyways, but I just can't tell you enough how much I love this styler, the problem I have with it though is it burns, like, if my necklace gets hot, I probably should take it off next time I do it, but it, it gets hot and then it starts to burn, um, and then the other problem I have is I can't really get here, so I'll probably have to straighten that, um, but I'm gonna go through this a few more times, obviously, but I just wanted to show, like, my hair never gets this like soft and flouncy I guess from straightening I don't know so and it makes your ends look really good which is a plus always um yeah so I just can't get over myself like really you do this to me <laughs> who 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 does that <sighs> me of course anyways um yeah, so I really recommend this. Now, one thing is it's kind of expensive. It's actually like 80, I want to say it was 84, maybe 80. I'll look it up and put it in the um, description, but it was pricey. But also, I know that Revlon makes a cheaper version. I think it's like 60 some. And then also, <clears throat> Bedhead makes one. I don't know how good it is. Um, but I ended up wanting to get this one because it said, it, like, when I was doing review, reading reviews and stuff, it said this one's better for, like, damage, um, which I did not want any more damage to my hair, obviously. Um, so I got that one. But I know the Revlon is really raved about everywhere, so I mean, I'm sure you can't go wrong with that one either. But, uh, yeah, that's the, the Revlon. I'll put all the ones that I can find in the description. I know you can find them all on on Ulta's website. So anyways, I really recommend them, love them. 
I mean, I really want him in this one anyway. I can't really speak for the other ones, but I know that the other ones get rave reviews. And sorry, my makeup's everywhere. I just got a shower and it came off, and then like my forehead. <laughs> and then um, I was also crying about my hair. So <laughs> that's today. That's today. I'm back. So I try to fix my hair um, with the vitamin C, and then I wanted to get back on and kind of show like what my hair looked like finished, but it's not finished because I still have a little piece of foil holding on over here because that pinkish color is just not coming out there. Um, I did get the majority out that was in the front. It's still there a little. I don't know if you can see that, but um, yeah, I used some vitamin C, crushed it up, uh, put it in some shampoo. It didn't have dandruff shampoo, but um, what I can get right now so um yeah I did that and I feel like every like I got out like the, this side I don't think looks this bad um and I still have the pretty red underneath it's a little pinker now especially that it coated like like a lot of these like this wasn't red before but we're gonna be fine and I like the way that the hair turned out after I finished um, going through I probably would straighten this piece because it's just hard to get like small pieces with that brush but um I don't use the hair straightener for anything else really besides up by the front of my hair um and then like here where my I did give myself bangs a while back and it's still growing out but um that's kind of hard to get tamed with that too but Anyways, so yeah, that's where we are. Thanks for watching. Bye.